Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Marty Richards with Richland Center Tourism once again. And today we have a little special, why do we call it that, episode for you. Because today, June 8th, is Frank Lloyd Wright's birthday. And Frank Lloyd Wright um, somewhat generally accepted that he was born in Richland Center. And that's where this episode really gets interesting. So uh, hang on, hold on to your hats. Anything that has anything to do with Frank Lloyd Wright is complicated. If Frank Lloyd Wright lived today and had a Facebook page, his status, his employment, and his relationships would all say it's complicated. So first thing, uh, Frank Lloyd Wright was indeed born on June 8, 1867. Well, what's complicated about that? Even in his lifetime, at times, Frank Lloyd Wright claimed he was born in 1869 from time to time. But truth is, he was born in 1867. So the question then is, where was he born? What was his actual birthplace? Uh, truth be told, we don't know. There are actually seven potential sites that have been spoken about through the years as his potential birthplace. Um, there are probably two that have overwhelming evidence that it was one of those two places. Uh, and Frank Lloyd Wright himself was even uh, known to point out two different locations. So here is what the evidence best suggests. The, the number one most likely location is actually in Bear Valley. So it's not even in Richland Center. Uh, many of us that hear this and you've seen some of the episodes we've done about Bear Valley, there's a main thoroughfare state highway that goes right down through the Bear Valley area. And as you start to get closer to Lone Rock from Bear Valley, you'll see a farm with a sign right in front of it called the Cold Spring Farm. And that is actually one of the suggested locations. Uh, what happened was that Frank's father, William Wright, uh, William Wright was a Baptist pastor. And actually that links them to both of these locations, the one in Bear Valley and the one behind me. So Frank Wright was a Baptist pastor, somewhat of an itinerant minister. Uh, he did go around and that was typical for that day. The Methodists also did this where they had circuits. They had several different churches. Well, the same day that Frank Lloyd Wright was born was also a day that his father performed a funeral in Bear Valley. And it was customary at that time that if the pastor went and did a funeral, the spouse, the wife would also be there for that. And so one of the legends or one of the rumors uh, that is not proven is that he was actually born in Bear Valley at the Cold Spring Farm. So number two, or second most likely residence uh, that entails uh, where he, or would explain where he was actually born, is right behind me on the corner of Church and Second Street, uh, formerly referenced as the Wigley Home. So the Wigley Home, um, really why this tends to lend some credence to it, is that it's a block away from the Baptist Church. And so it is probably one of the most likely residences that we find that Frank Lloyd Wright may have been born in. What really is interesting is that Frank Lloyd Wright wasn't even born as Frank Lloyd Wright. He was actually born as Franklin, Frank Lincoln Wright, but he himself actually changed his name to Frank Lloyd Wright, Lloyd being his mother, Anna, her maiden name, Anna Lloyd. So all of that to say, uh, we do know for sure Frank Lloyd Wright was born on June 8, 1867, actually as Frank Lincoln Wright. He was born in one of seven locations. Uh, they were all in Richland County at least, so Richland County can claim him as their own. But if you'd like to check uh, those circuit out and kind of look for the different locations, uh, feel free to uh, you know check that on the internet. There are several uh, different pages that talk about the different locations. The one behind me is the only house that actually exists in its original location today, uh, where the Richland Center Post Office resides right now, actually was one of the options as well. A home used to sit there was formerly known as the Works House. Uh, that was one of the options. So uh, when you're visiting Richland Center, uh, if you care to drive by and, and take a picture, remember it is a residence still today, feel free to take a picture at the corner of 2nd and Church Street. That is the only remaining house here in Richland Center, uh, rumored to be one of his locations. So, uh, for Richland Center Tourism, 
That is why we call this Frank Lloyd Wright's birthplace, but it's not the house itself, it's more the city or the county. Uh, but you go ahead, be the judge, feel free to weigh in in the comments below what you feel, or if you have an alternative location, feel free to share that with us in the contents below. But happy birthday to Frank Lloyd Wright, and folks, thank you for joining us again. I'm Marty Richards for Richland Center Tourism. Have a great evening.